ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am Dr. Xie, cardiovascular surgeon of Zhanghua Christian Hospital. I'm pleased to introduce the minimal invasive coronary artery bypass graphing, or we call minimal invasive cabbage for you. First of all, we talk about the basic concept about cabbage. All the vascular disease, including coronary artery disease, can be treated in three ways. Medication is first. It, it is convenient and safe. However, the effect will be the poor. If we go further, we can go with PCI, percutaneous coronary artery intervention, by inserting balloon or stents from sheets from femoral or radial artery in a less invasive way. In case of failed PCI or a complicated case, open surgery for coronary artery revascularization is indicated. It is so-called coronary artery bypass grafting or cabbage. Although the cabbage requires general anesthesia and sternotomy or thoracotomy, there is some advantage over the PCI, including lower rate of revascularization and correction of all coronary lesions and more effective in complicated cases, especially in poor coronary artery quality. And in the long-term follow-up, there will be a lower uh, myocardial infarction rate and, uh, and better long-term survival. However, the disadvantage of cabbage over the PCI, including invasiveness, and it, it requires longer recovery uh, after the intervention and the poor short-term life of quality, especially one year after the surgery. But the basic concept of cabbage is to use a vascular graft, including arterial uh, venous graft, to perform the direct end to site suture to target coronary artery with 7-0 or 8-0 proline suture. The suture shown in this picture is around 2 or 3 millimeters in size only, so the operation and osmosis is very delicate. Uh, it's uh, technically demanding. And to perform this suture in a beating heart is the, is the most important and the most uh, difficult part of the surgery. Uh, to tackle the heart beating problem, the surgeon initially used the cardiopulmonary bypass to replace the function of heart, then used the hypothermia or cardioplegia solution to make heart totally rest. Uh, after the heart stopped beating, the surgeon can perform a delicate an anosmosis in your aesthetic heart. After completion of the anosmosis, the surgeon will make the heart uh, to regain the function or beating. It takes more time for operation. So around 22,000, surgeons develop a special stabilizer to fix part of heart to perform the coronary artery osmosis. As you see, this is the stabilizer. It uses the vacuum suction to fix the tissue around the coronary artery. In this way, we can avoid the cardiopulmonary bypass and shorten the operation time, decrease the blood transfusion. This is called of punk cabbage, uh, we call OPCAB. And after fix the coronary artery, we can open the coronary artery and to have an osmosis. With the different heart stabilizer, we can elevate the different portion of heart for osmosis, including a lateral wall for obturated marginalis and osmosis, or inferior wall for the PDNS and osmosis. However, in some cases with poor heart function, Elevation or any manipulation of the heart will impair the pumping of the heart, leading to unstable hemodynamic during operation. They will result in difficulty in approach of distal target coronary artery vessel or incomplete revascularization during the off-hand cabbage. So some surgeons start to use the coronary bypass for the circulatory arrest with the stabilizer we can perform more distal and difficult anosmosis without high arrest. After completion of all the coronary artery bypass, the bypass can be removed soon. There's no need to wait for recovery of pumping from a totally arrest heart. This is called unpump surgery. And then nowadays, the cabbage performed in off-pump cabbage or unpump cabbage two ways. The long-term outcome are similar. The operation method depends on choice or preference of the, so the surgeon. However, both way of cabbage, what we call traditional cabbage, 
is invalid to the sternotomy. The sternotomy will lead the uh, open the chest and uh, we cause a semi-inflammatory response. And it will lead some wound infection around the 1 to 1.5 percent, especially in obese, uh, diabetes, COPD smoker, with, or with multiple comorbidity patients. They will impair the recovery or leading to many complications of wound after the traditional cabbage. Sternotomy will lead to pain, especially first four to six weeks to wait for bony union. So the surgeon develops a minimal invasive cabbage. By definition, he will avoid the traditional sternotomy. Surgeon can approach the heart or coronary artery with the lateral thoracotomy in fourth intercostal space, especially LAD, the most important coronary artery of the heart. It supplies about 50% myocardium of the heart. The golden standard in cabbage is uh, Lima. We uh, left intermammary artery to LAD and thermosis. The 10 years patent rate is around 95%. So in case of the minimal invasive cabbage, to from the Lima to LAD and the thrombosis is the most important. As this picture, we start the surgery from lateral thoracotomy. After the thoracotomy, the Lima lies beneath the pyretal pleura of the left rock cavity. After open the pyretal pleura, the Lima can be mobilized freely. After freely, the Lima we open the pericardium and we can see the LED just beneath uh, this thoracotomy. And we can use the stabilizer in the upon cabbage to fix the LED portion of the heart. And then uh, and we, we can open the LED. Uh, then we perform the anosmosis from Lima to LED. And because the limited access, the, the help from the your assistant will be limited. So it is very technically demanding from the surgeon himself. You can see we completion of the anosmosis. Uh, if we open the thoracotomy, we uh, laterally more more extensively, uh, we can perform other anosmosis of heart, including the uh, diagonal or the ON or in the lateral wall of heart, and even more we can perform the, the PDA in the inferior wall of the heart. Besides from the Lima, we can use the saphenous man or radiology as a free graft to perform side to end as an osmosis from Lima. And we can perform the side to side and osmosis to other coronary artery vessel, including diagonal, including the uh, OM or PDA. If cardiopulmonary bypass is required, we can use the femoral artery or vent as cannulation. This is different from the outer or right atrial cannulation in tradition and tradition is just the anatomy and uh, cabbage. And finally, it is one of the minimal invasive uh, cabbage. Very smaller from the st traditional st sternotomy. In some cases, the lima cannot be used. We can perform the subclavian or uh, axillary cabbage, we call sex cabbage. Uh, we use the saphenous vein as a vein graft and uh, we, we open the left subclavian artery as an artery inflow, and we perform the uh, lima and osmosis as the lateral thoracotomy. This is another shape of minimal invasive cabbage. But the final one of sex cabbage is just like this. The one is uh, over the subclavian area, another is the lateral thoracotomy. In even other case, because the LAD is the, the most important, of the minimal invasive cabbage. So the Lima to LED anastomosis has the best result. We can perform the Lima to LED anastomosis in minimal invasive cabbage and the, the revascular other coronary arteries by cardiologists using the PCI. So this is called hybrid intervention for cabbage. The minimal invasive cabbage has been done worldwide in a specialized hospital. This is the result of the dual center about 450 patients in US in 2009. And you can see it including a, a, a most unstable angina patients, moderate depression heart function, the average uh, ejection frequency is around 41%. And the most are for two vessel disease instead of the three vessel disease as in the traditional KPG. Most of the cases receive two graphs for anosmosis. Only 10% of the patient need a cardiopulmonary bypass. Most of them can do in a pump cabbage way. 
with a low complication or reopen rate less than 3%. This report, meanwhile, invasive has compatible outcome in experience center with, com with conventional cabbage. However, there is still some disadvantage of minimal invasive cabbage, including limited access to a specific heart region of heart, challenging in complete revascularization or a poor coronary artery. Uh, besides, if the patient has a poor heart or lung function, general anesthesia will deteriorate poorly. And besides, because we, we perform the left thoracotomy, left lung function will be poor compared to the traditional middle sternotomy cabbage. The currently, the suggestion of the minimal invasive cabbage is in low risk group, uh, especially in anterior coronary artery region uh, with lima to AOD anosis. And in cases with contraindication of traditional sternotomy cabbage, such as the severe atherosclerosis of ascending alta, high risk for sternotomy means just like a previous media stenitis or radio or radiotherapy, there will be a severe adhesion in, uh, in pericardium. Uh, the minimum basic cabbage with the same option. In experience of the Zhanghua Christian Hospital, we performed the minimally invasive cavity by Darwin Xi or robotic surgery for Lima harvest. Now, after harvest the Lima, we performed the Lima to avoid anosmosis, and we use the radiatory as a free graft in situ and anosmosis from the Lima, and we performed the diagonal ON or PD anosmosis sequentially. We have had uh, around 10 to 50 cases per year. And so, in summary, in the case of minimal invasive cabbage, we perform the left anterior sarcotome instead of the uh, median sternotome. The Lima to LAD and the is uh, the most important, and it can avoid a complication related to the sternotome. And however, because of limited access, it will be uh, technically demanded. In experience center, it will have a comparable outcome uh, with the conventional cabbage. This is my report.